How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today, we have another battle with the Zangoose team. It's actually the final battle we have with this team, so hopefully it goes well. If you want to try the team out, use the code at the top right corner of the screen. There's also a copy and paste of the team in the description down below. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And with that being said, let's jump into the team preview. Okay, today we're battling versus Viridu, also known as Viridu in the Discord server. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wife battles right now. There's a link in the description down below. Looking at his team, he's got a Lycanroc and Mabostiff, a Vaporeon, a Gudra, Medicham, and a Cloritzer. So we're going to need Driftbloom around for that Medicham because Medicham is a big threat, of course. Um, I think Fracture could put in some work here. I don't see any Dragon Resists on his team, which is amazing. Can't believe Gudra's NU, man. That's crazy right there. That's absolutely crazy, but I'm going to lead off with Lycanroc. I feel like they're going to lead off with their Lycanroc and try and go for a taunt. So I guess it'll all come down to whoever wins the speed tie. So let's go ahead and do that. And the battle begins. So Viridu's going to lead off with Medicham, the Medicham, as we led off with Brucey, the Lycanroc. So this is not a bad matchup at all. Um, if we outspeed, we know that they are not choice scarfed. If they are choice scarfed, we can just switch it accordingly. Let's get our Stealth Rocks up and be, be done with it. Um, as they go for a Fake Out, absolutely fine by me. Um, just goes to show that they are actually a Life Orb variant, which is good to know, good to know. So, no Choice Scarf shenanigans. We do get a Speed Boost from Sped Fast, which is pretty funny. Um, <laughs> and now I'm just going to go ahead and get my Stealth Rocks up. I'm looking at their team and I'm thinking, I don't really need Lycan Rock for much else. They don't have a Hazard Clearer, so getting Stealth Rocks up is just taking full priority. As they go for a Bullet Punch, that should KO us. It doesn't, though! Lives on 4 HP as we're able to get up the nice and powerful Stealth Rocks, which is absolutely amazing. I can't believe Lycan Rock pulled through for us then. What a legend! What an absolute legend! What an absolute G! Anyway... Let's keep Lycan Rock around for later. We'll go into Driftblim real quick. Driftblim is a good switch. Um, we can definitely take a Bullet Punch from this thing, no problem. Um, and we can retaliate with a Burn. Burn, nothing on this team appreciates a Burn. Cloritza doesn't care about it on a, a, an attacking standpoint, but um, yeah, so Bullet Punch comes through. It doesn't do anything to Driftblim, which is amazing. They're going to lose some more HP from that. Even if they stay in and go for a, an Ice Punch here, we should be golden. So let's go for that Will-O-Wisp. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter what they switch in. Nothing's going to appreciate the chip damage from Burn. They're going to withdraw the Medicham, as you would expect, probably into the Cloritzer, because it has Dark Pulse. They go into Gummy Bree, which is going to be the Gudra, which is fair enough. That also doesn't appreciate the burn, though, uh, provided we can actually hit it. Stealth Rocks are going to dig in. We go for the burn. There we go. It connects. And that's some nice chip damage on the Gudra every turn, which is going to be great for whittling that thing down, because Gudra is a very big threat um, on the special side. It hits like a truck with its Draco Meteors. I'm um, probably going to see one of those right now, so I'm going to go straight into Muk. I think Muk's my best option. We could sack Lycanroc here, but I don't really want to. Um, so I'm thinking Muk's probably the best bet, so let's go into Muk real quick. Muk has really good special defense, naturally. It's not invested, this particular one, but it, is, it naturally has good special defense. So we'll go into here, and looking at their team, they have no real switch into a Gunk Shot. So the Draco Meteor comes through. It does half to us, but they go to get that special attack drop, which is always nice. Um, which is great. So we get some Black Sludge Recovery, which is great for us because it means even if we didn't have Special Attack Drop, we would still live another one. And they're going to get some of that burn damage racking up. So looking at their team, they don't really have a good switch into Gunk Shot, which is amazing for us. So we just go straight for the Gunk Shot right now. Even if they bring in the Vaporeon, we can Toxic that thing, which would be amazing. They're going to withdraw the Gudra. What are they going to go into to take a Gunk Shot? That's the real question. If the Mabostiff has the Intimidate, which it doesn't, they're going to go into the Medicham. Interesting choice. They're going to get some Stealth Rock damage. Hopefully we hit the Gunk Shot, which would be great. There we go. That's going to take out the Medicham. No problems whatsoever as down it goes. So Medicham goes down. That's one big threat out of the way, which is amazing. Muck coming through for us right now. Muck coming absolutely well and truly through for us right now with its power with its pure power in comes benito which is going to be the the boss stiff boss stiff does hurt really badly um it is clearly a stakeout variant as well so we have to be careful what we switch in um i'm thinking muck again for the gunk shots anything that we switch in is going to get hurt um so i'm looking at lycan rock and i'm thinking you're not really doing too much if we can get a free switch on on the Vaporeon with the Lycan Rock Endeavor, will be great for that. Um, but we do have options for the Vaporeon if we need to. I can't really afford. To, I can't really afford to switch out. If I switch out, we're gonna lose loads of HP. So I'm gonna go for Drain Punch real quick. They go for the Psychic Fangs. We live in. We live in, and we go for the Drain Punch. Get some health back, which is absolutely amazing. Lovely recovery right there. 
Muck coming through with the live as well. That's, that's just great. Absolutely great. So, Muck's putting in the finest work right now. Probably don't need Muck for anything else though. So, I'm thinking about just switching out. Uh, not switching out. I'm thinking about staying in. And just going straight for that oh, another Drain Punch. I think that's perfect. So, they go for another Psychic Fangs. Obviously going to take out Muck because Muck was on its last legs anyway. Um, to be fair, in hindsight there, I probably should have gone for the Shadow Sneak to try and get the Poison Touch. But it doesn't really matter in the end. Doesn't really... It's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. So, we're going to Zangus real quick. There we go. Zangus comes in. Zangus is a premier threat in the NU tier right now. If you don't know what the NU tier is, it's basically a tiering system made by Smogon to balance Wi-Fi battles and, well, competitive Pokemon in general. Um, so you should definitely look it up. We go to PokemonShowdown.com and you'll be able to see all the tiers, see where all the Pokemon lie. And the tiers are based on usage, and obviously usage, even though it doesn't necessarily decide whether a Pokemon's good or not, generally if a Pokemon's being used more, it's probably because it's better. So we'll go for a Facade anyway. They go for a Psychic Fang, they do outspeed us, it's not going to do too much damage to us as we go for the Facade and take out the Benito right there. Um, that's fine. Down it goes Mabostiff, which is great. And we're going to get some nice and powerful poison right now. In comes Gala, which is going to be the Lycanroc. So Lycanroc comes in nice and not shiny, which is great to see. Um, we break the Focus Sash with the Stealth Rocks. Um, not really seeing any way to switch in, though. Zangus is going to be key to breaking that Cloritzer and key to breaking that Gudra. Do I need... Driftblim anymore? Not really. Let's go Driftblim. Let's go Driftblim. I could still use Lycanroc more than I could use Driftblim, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go ahead and sack the Driftblim right now to a Stone Edge or a Drill Run or a Close Combat, whatever they want to go to. If it's Drill Run or Close Combat, we're immune to it, so that's good. If he goes for the Stone Edge, it's still fine. We can take that. As they do Terrestrialize, are they going to go Rock type with a Rock? That would be pretty interesting. So let's see what they're going to do here. They are indeed a rock type, so that's absolutely fantastic. That means the Stone Edge is going to KO us, um, which is fine. Absolutely fine. We're going to go for that Acela Rock. That's fine. Uh, Acela Rock comes through, nearly KOs the Drift Blim. Surprised that we actually live that, and we're going to lose some life from the uh, Life Orb damage, which is great for us. So I'm going to go for the Strength Sap on the off chance they miss, which they can't miss Acela Rock, but you know, you never know. They go for another Acela Rock, which obviously can't miss. I know it can't miss. I was just... I was just fooling around, guys. I was just fooling around. So we don't actually have the aftermath ability, which is going to hurt the Lycan Rock, which is great. Um, we got a bit of chip damage off on the on on the Lycan Rock with the Drifling, which is always nice. And now I'm wondering how we take on this Lycan Rock. So we've got a couple of options. We've got Electros, who is obviously immune to Drill Run and uh, neutral to a Cellar Rock. Um, I think that's probably our best bet. We go for a Giga Drain and we get a free switch. And we go for a Volt Switch and we get a free switch in with something else. So we'll go into the old Electros over here, Electros. Um, and the Electros can put in some work here. So we'll go straight for that Volt Switch. Slow Volt Switch is really good. Even if they go for a Stone Edge, we should live. Um, they do withdraw probably into the Gudra. I would say the Gudra is their only switching, really. As they do bring in Gummy Bree, which is the Gudra. So that's absolutely amazing for us. Because it means, it means now we get a free switch into Lycan Rock. So we go for that Volt Switch. Oh, no! No! That's not fair! That's not fair. Game Freak needs to sort these servers out. These servers are dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. I can't believe that's just happened. That was such a good battle as well. Oh, no. I'm bummed out now. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Let me know in the description. Let me know in the comments who you think hypothetically would have won that communication energy into an error. And I bet it's going to say that I'm offline as well, into I bet it's going to say I'm offline as well. Watch, 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 watch. Yeah, no. Every other game in existence, I never disconnect from. This game, always disconnecting. And you know what? It happens a lot in the server as well. There's constantly people complaining about disconnections. Just ridiculous, to be honest with you. They need to sort the servers out on this game. They really need to sort them out. So anyway, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. Let me know who you thought would have won that hypothetical battle. Um, I think we had a good chance, but Biridu is a very good battle. Battler. And we wouldn't hold it past him to pull it back easily. So anyway, I'll see you in a bit.